Charmin's Kitchen. A pleasant good evening to each and every one of you. It is a beautiful day, October the 21st, which is like three weeks in October, and the weather is beautiful. It feels like summer today. And we're heading to visit my aunt. We usually visit her in the summertime, but this summer we were very busy and she was busy so we didn't get to meet up but today we're heading on there and we're taking you guys along with us this is my aunt that have the beautiful garden she already cleaned up the garden so there won't be any garden showing i'm not sure she have anything left but come on down with us Come on down with us and let's go for this drive. Let me show you how beautiful it is outside. Uh, we're close to the airport, so there's a lot of plane coming in right now and it's a beautiful scene. Surprisingly, the traffic is not too bad for after uh, six. It is kind of um, nice and the traffic is flowing. So that's the good thing because usually this is a rush hour time but I guess heading down this way is not too bad so here we're gonna be passing by the airport for my pilot friend big shout out to you you know yourself don't know if you're flying in or out today but we're thinking of you while passing here the beautiful sunset right here the sun is setting now yesterday we caught it today again I'm lucky to, to capture it and this part here have a little bit of a hole up but it's gonna move such a beautiful evening traffic everywhere both sides on that side and this side as well continue for six kilometers and then it's gonna free up a little bit because some of these things are going in the on the 401 west You guys know my aunt love she love her garden and flowers so i'm taking an orchid for her because her birthday was last month i didn't get to see her so i like to take something for her when i'm visiting i think i judged the traffic a little too fast it's kind of really really slow now look at that beautiful sun enjoy this beautiful sunset with me while we're driving to my aunt and if you notice there's a plane passing right there such a beautiful scene Sharon 
and this look like green onions right here and the rose of Sharon the grass is nicely cut over here she have like plants these are permanent plants and look at this this looks so artificial like not real even though my aunt clean up her garden, there's still some flowers for us to see. This one is so beautiful. It looks like artificial, but it is actually real and it's so nice. I don't know the name for this one. And she still have time here, fine time. And then there's marigolds. These are little ones. And this is like a poppy flower. I can't believe it's November and things are still in the garden. She have her rosemary. She said it, it always come back. She have more fine thyme, rosemary. This one here, I don't know which one this is. Mm, that's like Tulsi. And this is um, celery. More thyme, different kind of thyme time and this is um sage she always has sage in her garden so this is the garden after my aunt clean up everything look she still have lots and lots of flowers but when this is in bloom this is nothing compared to all the flowers she have this is a darker color one and this here i was thinking it's a poppy flower but she said it's a different flower rose of Sharon and then they have some nice little roses here I'm not good with flower names but here she have another light pink rose here and these are all rose bushes this one I'm not sure what this is but this is a small tiny rose too and all these little little plants here they will come out back in the summertime but this is a big garden to take care and clean up she always does an amazing job so it's kind of dark now because it's like um, quarter to seven so we can't get to see them bright but it is um there's still lots of flowers in the garden and they always like to come visit Auntie Dato. Look at Ma Natalie, and they're eating. Auntie Dato got them their favorite Popeyes. My beautiful plate here ready I have some nice spicy fried chicken fries potato and gravy and I have a biscuit with some drink we're gonna go eat and chit chat for a bit her daughter made the most beautiful perfect flan she always does a good job and I want to shout her out happy birthday Liana greetings are coming from me and the entire family big hugs and kisses and hope you had a wonderful day i know your mom will do something very nice for you today so we wish you many many more birthdays to come with good health strength long life happiness and prosperity and this is one of my aunt's beautiful furry baby my kids are so excited to come here because they get to play with the kitties how is it Plan. Taste it's really it. good. Taste it. It's good. Mm -hmm. so I'm gonna take a bite of mine. Nice, rich, and creamy. Look, guys. Really rich, really creamy, and really delicious. These cuties know when visitors are around, and they tend to shy away when you go beside them. The kids are so excited to pet them, but I guess they have to know you before they give you the chance. And check out in the back, there's another beautiful one in the back. 
so cute nice color and this one is keeping his distance my aunt and her family really take good care of these kitties like real little babies and she's giving them treat here because i guess they're a little bit scared we're here and she's giving them treat for being good boys these ones are boys Hello. <laughs> my kids love Auntie Dato. They love to visit her. She show us so much love. And every time I say, are you guys going to Auntie Dato? They always say yes. So they were very happy for this visit as well. You notice Matthew don't always go with us places. But he did come here because he loved visiting Auntie Dato. And all good things must come to an end. We're heading home now. So guys, when we go to Auntie Dato, always a fun time the time spent there is so wonderful that we never realize hours and hours will go by it is actually what almost 10 o'clock and now we're heading home i see a moon is out right there and it's totally dark out we had such a good time as always auntie that is an amazing person my kids love to visit her. She has so much love to give to others. And she has a welcoming heart, a very giving one, and one that you always want to go back and go back again and again. So we're heading home. Now because tomorrow is school and everybody have to go to work. So I'm gonna show a little clipping of how the highway look while we're heading home. It's not too busy at this time, but it's beautiful because I like to see all the lights when you look around. So nice and beautiful. Hope you guys enjoyed a little visit with us. I always take you with me everywhere I go, visiting family, doing trips and outings and wherever I go because you guys are my virtual family as well. Hope you had a good day with your family. Hope you had a good day at work. I wish you all a good night. We have a little bit more to go and we're just enjoying the nice, quiet drive home. Some business places are already decorating for Christmas. It's a good idea because the weather is nice for all those who have lights to put up outside. This is the perfect time because once the place gets cold, it's going to be such a hectic thing to put your lights up when it's cold because your hands will be freezing and it'll be so uncomfortable so i want to encourage everyone who have outdoor lights to put on for christmas this week is the perfect week to do so i guess next week the weather will change if anybody else is celebrating a birthday or an anniversary or anything at all tonight i want to wish you a happy one with many many more to come can you guys imagine that we only have two more months left for this year i can't believe how fast this year went by time is just flying by us i guess because we're older and have so many things to do so this right here is a guyana maridman poke plant and all these brown things on top here is seeds and these you can replant them and they'll grow but if you look properly on the stem there is still some fresh leaves here there's a lot i brought in some of my plants my aunt gave this one to me and i'm gonna try to save it i'm gonna cut out all the seeds i'm gonna keep them and i'll try to see next year if i can grow some more because this is one herb that i really really like to cook with and if i can save this one it will be good I have my broad leaf that I had outside. I brought it in. This one I had indoors. And then I have a few other plants here that I usually keep indoors. I have my oregano here. I'm going to try to save it as much as I can to see if it will grow indoors. But let's keep our fingers crossed. So I want to say thank you all so, so much for going with me on this trip. Thank you for your time. Thank you for your love. Thank you for your support. Blessings to everybody. Have a good night. God bless. Bye for now.